Namaste, my dear friends. Today we are discussing different definitions of yoga, and today we are going to take two texts. One is the Katha Upanishad, and the other one is Yoga Vasistha. Both are very ancient texts. The Katha Upanishad is part of the Vedas, and it is something that is very very old. The Katha Upanishad defines yoga as Tam Yogam Iti Manyante Sthiram Indriya Dharana. That is known as yoga, where the senses are in dharana. The senses are focused. Normally, when you look at the senses, my dear friends, of which the mind is also one of them in Vedic science, mind is also considered as a sense. The senses are moving from here and there to pursue sensual objects. Now, when that happens, we are distracted because there are so many sensory objects that move us from one place to another. Binding all of them, controlling them, regulating them so that they are not jumping from one place to the other, but rather they are focused on the object of focus, the subject of focus that the consciousness wills. That is called yoga. That is what is called dharana, which will eventually become dhyana, eventually samadhi. So yoga is the regulation of the senses and the mind to be focused in one direction and not in multiple directions. This is the definition offered by the katha upanishad. The next definition is coming from Yoga Vasistha, which is a very ancient text that documents the conversation between Sage Vasistha and Lord Rama. In this, Vasistha defines Yoga as Icha Visha Vikarasya Vyogam Yoga Namakam. It is saying, he is saying that. Yoga is the disconnection from the poison called desire and its activities. The desire is what makes us move from here and there and it is very toxic. Because desire for sensual objects can never be satisfied. You want to buy a new phone, you buy it, then already you have the desire for the next one because the market comes out with a new phone. You want to eat some food, you enjoy it, so you want to repeat it again, you want to go there and eat again. So the desire is actually very toxic because it is never quenching our thirst. So therefore to fall a prey to such desire is very dangerous. So yoga is not the rejection of objects, but rather to master the desire for objects so that our relationship with the objects in this world are not based on the toxic thing called desire, but rather because of dharma, the purpose. We need to eat food to have energy to fulfill our life activities. That is a healthy relationship with food. Whereas if we have food as an object of enjoyment, we become gluttonous and that becomes very toxic. Then we get obesity, high blood pressure, heart, cardiac problems, diabetes, etc. and a whole range of illnesses. So that's why Vasishtha says, control this toxic thing called desire, which is what makes us suffer. So yoga is the mastering of this toxin it's like Namaste. Namaste, my dear friends. My name is Kaustub Desikachar, and I'm the current lineage holder of the Vinayoga tradition. Thank you for watching our YouTube video today. 
and if you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscription button nearby below and also the bell icon so that you are notified on our up-to-date uh, uploads of our video we happily upload each week at least one video and discuss fantastic topics about the traditional aspects of yoga so we can keep the learning as pure and as close to the source as possible so join our community and let us spread this fantastic knowledge of yoga and if you like our videos please leave a comment about what you think and if you don't like our videos please also let us know how we can improve namaste dear friends